Welcome to my platform. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on your location. And if you like what I do here, please, after watching, subscribe, put on your notification bell, set it to all notifications so that you'll be able to know when I upload a new video. In this platform, we react to all forms of video, what we do before putting the video, analyze it, and we sit down there to watch it together with you. Then later, we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. Of course, everybody is entitled to his or her opinion, but let us always do it constructively in the comment section. Useless governors, I will tell you they are the product of broken condoms. I will call them names, I will call them idiots, I will call them every sort of name. And nothing will happen because they deserve it. That is what I do. I tell you to go and listen to Mazin Khan. I will repost Mazin Khan. I will come here on this program. I will bring out some part of Mazin Khan that is very, very important. I will stress it. I will, I will point it out. I will make it to... For if you don't understand the English of Mazin Khan because he's having a British accent, me that is having a Igbo accent for you to get it in your head. That is what I do. I don't gossip. I don't do zaga for people that don't know what I do. So what am I doing here this video this night? I have already done a last video last month. I told people that I'm not going to come on social media anymore to agitate for Biafra because I see that everything is turning to chase play. I see that everything is turning to gossip. Everything is turning to, if you go to Radio Biafra, everything is turning to chase play since Mazen Amikano have been kidnapped. That is why I decide. I decide to back out. Not because I'm afraid. Not because uh, I don't want Biafra no more. I decided to back out. I said, guys, you guys should do it. Let me just be watching. But unfortunately, yesterday, unfortunately, I must say, I went to a guy's name called Patrick Ikem. I used to watch him. I watch everybody. I watch everybody. I watch everybody. I went on his page. I saw the subject they were dealing with. The subject says, extraordinary rendition of Mazin Amdekano. Then I was patiently waiting for them to talk about it and, you know, bring ideas. Maybe I came late. Because after that, I went back to that program to watch it from the beginning. To see if I was the one that is wrong. I asked them a question. After I have watched them for 15 minutes, discussing about my, uh, Simon Ekba. I asked them a question. I said, look, I called in. I said, look, I have been watching you guys for 15 minutes. All I'm hearing is Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa. I want to know, is that the subject of today? That is the only crime I committed. I asked because I want to know. Somebody was trying to explain to me that they have been discussing about the, 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 the extraordinary religion of Mazinam Mekano before I came in, which is okay. That is how brothers should, 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 should talk to each other. You tell me, brother, you just come in late, we've been talking. But the problem that I had with this, all this, is not that I asked that question, which I asked. The question I asked is that, what is the topic for today? Is Simon Epa, you guys, topic? Because everywhere I go, all I hear is Simon Epa. That is why I have to ask that question. I'm not asking that question to defend Simon Epa. I'm not asking that question because I am in the camp of Simon Epa. I am not in nobody's camp. All of them, you people are not serious, both Simon Epa. All of these e, e warriors, you guys are not serious because if you guys are serious, Martin Amicano will not be we will we, 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 we not be shouting every day he's looking for 100 men. He will not be looking for 100 men. If you guys are serious, all of you guys, if you guys are serious, both Simon Ekba, both Sina Sanwaru, both um, um, uh, Prince Darlington, both Ikenga, all of you guys are not serious. You're not serious. Because if you guys are really serious, if you guys are really serious, Martin Amicano will not be shouting for 100 men. So that is why I don't belong to nobody's group. I watch. So why am I making this video is that during this session, I asked a question. You guys can go. It is on the one hour, 45 minutes thereabout. I called in. I asked a question. Mr. Patrick, the host, was trying to explain to me that, brother, you called in. Before you called in to ask this question about our topic, we are not just discussing about Simon Epa, we are discussing about uh, religion, extraordinary religion of Mazda Mikano, and we have spoken about it before you called. He was trying to explain to me. 
This Mazi is a Jimado. He was busy interrupting and shouting. You know what I'm saying? Like, like as if the heaven is falling down. Mazi is a Jimado. After shouting and bullying me up and down, at the end, somebody else called. And that is the part I want you guys to listen to. Because my own is not even important. Why I'm annoyed is that you are calling somebody idiot and calling me names. What did I do to you? What did I do to you? Is that how you want to get the Biafra? You really think that Biafra belongs to only you? Is that how to get Biafra? I don't understand these guys. I don't just understand these guys. So I'm going to play when the, the next person called in for you guys to understand what I'm talking about. Because when I'm talking about this, you guys might say maybe I feel so intimidated or because he insulted me. He insulted me without reason. On the conversation I was writing, I never insulted nobody. I was telling him, let's do it face to face. Because when I call in on your program, you are calling me idiots. Now it's time for you to come here, either on your page or on my page. Let's talk about that idiot you called me. Tell me the reason why you call me idiot. Tell me the reason why you say I'm stupid. Tell me the reason why you say that I'm going on social media and ranting. When I go on social media and rant, I am ranting to get Biafra. I am talking to people that full of agenda with that kill our people. I am telling them that they, our governors, they are the problem that we have. That is what I do on social media. I don't go there to gossip. I don't go there to talk about Simon Ekpa. I don't go there to talk about DOS. When I came to talk about DOS, I said, DOS, please, do give us order. What should we do? I said, everybody, listen to DOS. That is what I do. If you don't know, now you know. Go and check my broadcast. You start to insult me for what? You think you are the only one that can put camera and come? You are hiding in, uh, in UK. You say you, 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 you come with your face. I come with my face here, then I will go to Nigeria, I will pass through that airport with my name, not fake name. As I was in Nigeria last month, one month ago, Ijele, the one you guys cannot face. All of you guys cannot face that useless Ijele. I was calling him out to come to his village face to face. Let's do it man to man. He was threatening to get use DAS and kill me. Where were you? You never called Ijele to, to, to tell him that this guy is not even a member of IBOP. He's not paying his dues. He didn't take oath, 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 oath. He never take oath. You didn't defend me. You never tell each other, don't kill him all. You didn't tell each other, don't kill him all. He's not an old member. But when I come to ask you question, then you not come to tell me that I didn't take oath. So the question is, where is you tell me for that take oath? Where is Obid, Obielu, or what they call them? All these useless people that take oath. Where are they, all of them? Where are they? Where are they? All these people that take oath, that carry oath in their head. Where are they? So guys, before I continue, I want to show you guys this guy. This guy, I don't know him. I don't know him. He don't know me. But he just hates me for no reason. Ask him, why do you hate this guy? Ask him, why did you hate this guy? Show me one program Avis did. Even though personally I don't like how the, 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 the DOS, I don't know how, I don't know what they're doing because I believe Nan Khan is a man of action. I personally, I, I, I need something to happen. I need Nigeria government to pay for the adoption and the kidnap of Nan Khan. I need to pay for it. Personally, I don't, I don't like that many IPOB members are still in prison, more than 2,000 of them. I don't like it. Personally, I don't like it. Who cares? That is my opinion. You are not feeding me, you are not paying my house rent. So if I tell you that I don't like it, that something will have to be done. Anything, I don't know what. Anything has to be done. We cannot keep quiet and we enjoy Christmas and gallivanting and people are dying. Look at this girl. That they, they raped and dumped her in, 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 in the north. They took her from the airport. This same guy in this same program, he is telling the girl that it is her fault. Somebody was referring to you. Hello. So now, guys, listen to this caller. Listen to this color and judge for yourself. Alright? It's not about me. Because I'm going to address this Mazi as a, as a gym mother that is living in London. Brother, Mazi is a gym mother. London is having their COVID restrictions. 
If you want us to talk, we're not, it's not, you know, Europe, we don't fight. If you fight, police come, you know, you have, you, the person that did the first blow, you get a problem. If you like, I always come to London. I come to London almost every three months. Tell me where you are in London. Bring camera. Let's talk about it face to face. Tell me why you think that Gaffer belongs to you. Tell me, show us paper, show us. I'm even coming to that. We are going to do a program where you are going to bring receipt of that money that you said you have been paying. You have to show us how much you have been paid. You paid in IPOP. That's your monthly dues. Let's calculate it. Then I will bring my own statement of, of, of my bank, how much I have paid into that account of IPOP. Then we see who have paid more. Even though I am not a member of IPOP. I am not an oath member. Oath, oath, oath. I am not an oath member. Then we can compare and contrast before the Biafrans. How much you have paid, even if it's three years that you've been there, you've been paying 30, 30 pounds, 30, 30 euros. We calculate it and how much I, Evi Sololo, have paid inside our account to support ESN. We can calculate it and see who paid more. Then you show us where you have been to rally. How many times you've begun to any rally to struggle for Biafra. Then you show us how many letters you have written to anybody. Then you show us how many British uh, 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 senators or whoever you have you ever spoken to to agitate for Biafra. Then I will show you mine. If you like, we do it face to face like a studio. We build a small studio. I have people in, in London. We build one small place. You, you sit down. I will sit down. We have a moderator. We put camera. We go live on Facebook. Mr. Uh, uh, what was his name? Is it mad? Because this, these are kind of people that they will be pretending and posing around as if Biafra belongs to them and them alone because they are old members. You, you, you think that it's only you because you are a, a, an IPOB member? Then where is Uchemefo? for? Where is Uchemefo? for? Where is he now? Anybody that talk, you shout on the person, you you call, call the person, you abuse the person. Oh, brother, what? What is the problem with you? Who are you feeding? Who are you feeding? Who are you feeding? I'm still going to come to that. Because it is because of you I own this camera. I don't want to come on social media again to talk. Because all this talk we are talking online is just making noise. Why the people... The people in the Afrika land, they are killing them every day. They are in prisons. More than 2,000 IPOB members are in prison. We are here, we are here ranting. That is why I decided I don't want to make any program anymore because all this is just noise making for no reason. Gossip, 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 gossip up and down. But I on this camera now to let you know the same way you go on social media and put camera that I, Evis Ololo, I can also put my own camera. It's not only you. I'm not afraid of anybody. I do program, I do after this broadcast, maybe next month you see me in Nigeria. Do you understand? Because I stand for what I believe in. If they kill me, I know that they kill me for what I believe in. I'm not hiding here like you. He tell you that you people cannot confront. Nobody can confront him. Nobody can confront him. I have challenged Ijele many times on his program, Life and the Rest. After his program in Nigeria, I was in Nigeria last two months. I told him to come out. I told him to come out with all his uh, DSS killers. You that time you never know that you never he didn't make any program say no leave Evi so he's not an oath taker he didn't take oath. When I was defending IPOB in Ijele's platform, when he's calling IP bingos IPOB bingos IPOB bingos, I was there defending you people. You never went and tell Ijele uh, no Evi is not oath, oath taker. But when I called in to ask the question, then you start to. Cost me and cost my family? Who the fuck? Who the hell do you think you are? Because you are paying 30 euros every month. We are going to do it. Bruh, this is a call out. That's how I do my own thing. That is how I do my own. Either we are going to do it here on Facebook. Or I will come to London. Maybe not this month. This month is almost finished. February. I will come to London. I don't, I'm not telling you to come to Germany. I will come to you. That is how I do my own. My own. I will come. Nature, nature, bad. I will come. Nature, body, me, see. I will come. You tell me appointment. We come. We stay the small studio. You bring all that. You are the city. We calculate it. We calculate up. Then I bring mine. Shebi, I know the old member. I bring mine. 
Got it. Here's this one. This one here. Yeah. We have a caller, the last caller for the day as well. Listen, guys. Tell us your name and where you are calling from, please. My name is Amak here. I'm calling from Germany. You're welcome to the program. Thank you. That was not me, oh. Listen now. That was not me. I don't know if I'm allowed to ask you people question. Go ahead. Yes, go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my brother. Number one question I want to ask you people is this. Why is it that whenever we are talking about Piafra's struggle, some people inside are being rude and they will be rudely interrupted. Some people inside are being rude without somebody provoking them or without the person shouting on them. Why are kind of those people being rude? Like um Ike Eze, like uh, Eze. Why is he rudely interrupting people? Are you referring to Mars Yeah, I'm referring to Mars Listen now. Okay, let him rest. Very rude. Let him rest. He's rudely interrupting people. I just want to know the reason why. Yeah, let him give you continue. let him give you the reason. Just hold on. Okay, why listen now the reason. Why are you rudely interrupting people? Do you do, 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 do you see the question? The caller ask because the caller have been watching the program. The caller know when I called, or maybe he was there when I called, I don't know. But this guy have been shouting on people, bamboozling people, really interrupting them, calling them names and idiot and saboteurs and uh, I don't know what I don't know what this guy is smoking. Now this guy is calling to know why are you always rudely interrupting people? Now listen, listen very carefully to the answer this moron. Brother, I'm sorry with all due respect. I will call you so much name this night. You are the first girl friend. The first Biafran that have Biafran flag here yeah, that I will cause this night. I will call you name. I will tell you that you are a product of broken condom. You cannot do anything. And when I come to London, I will make you face to face. Not you cannot do anything. Not here. Not in Nigeria. Not in Germany. Not in, in your own country. You cannot do nothing because you are a product of broken condom. So rude. You are telling. Okay, look at just listen to his answer. Listen to her his answer. Because I personally have sacrificed a lot for our people to be free. And some of you that decided to come to destroy what some of us we have sacrificed a lot. Mazin Namdekano sacrificed a lot. Some of you thought it's a child's play for you to come. He said he have he said he have sacrificed a lot, so I am calling him out for me and him to sit down on a round table. We want to know that thing you have sacrificed that will make you be shouting on everybody, bullying everybody around. We want to know what that thing is. How much do you say you have paid? When did you join IPOP? Bring your receipt because these kind of people they don't go to rally, they don't pay nothing. They will be on social media talking rubbish. You have sacrificed. What have you sacrificed? During the Biafra Civil War, were you there? Did you fight the Biafra Civil War? My father fought the Biafra Civil War. His three brothers fought the Biafra Civil War. They killed people in my family. Not only you. Not only you. That people died from your family. Martin Namdekanu is in dungeon. Martin Namdekanu is in jail. 
All you guys do is to cause commotion on social media, gossiping, talking rubbish from morning till night. My American is busy looking for just hundred men, hundred men. Out, 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 out. After the out, what happens? Mad people everywhere. EOS attack the structure, attack Radio Biafra, attack our finances, attack everything to destroy everything we are doing. And you think I will? If you are my father, you are close to me. I will get rid of you. In freedom fighting, there is no permanent friend, no permanent enemy. You understand that now? I can hear you. I can hear you. So are you? Are you? Are you? Talk? Can I? Can I say something? Go ahead. Thank you so much for watching this video together with me like i said before if it is your first time of coming across my youtube channel and you like what i do please subscribe put on your notification bell share this video leave your comment in the comment section you are free to criticize but let us do it always constructively remain blessed i appreciate your massive support and i love and cherish each and every one of you until i meet you again in my next video for now we say bye bye